across socioeconomics principles and fundamentals. This is the first book and hopefully a series of books. It's the principles and fundamentals of uh, polar opposite economic structures and how those place an effect uh, upon social class structures. The reason why it's called Hourglass is because, you know, an hourglass is a mirror image of itself. So to touch on a couple of the concepts within the book itself, the subtitle of this book is A Search for Equilibrium, right? Uh, and the whole model of an hourglass is something that draws people to it, but, you know, you know the mathematical approach is in the shape of an hourglass. Um, so, you know, I have a couple of props here. Um, when we think about an input to output system, you know, we think normally, and I remember seventh, eighth grade when they were teaching us, you know, the simple scientific method of you put something in and you take something out in a different state. So right now, what we have is, you know, you put something in, you close it, you wait, you take it out. Um, the problem with this though is as you open this box, there's outside influence going into this and there's outside influence pulling it out. You know, and then once you fill that box and you need a larger one, you know, the same things apply, but um, there's a lot more variables in play. So we have a, a larger box here, um, which same concept, you open something and put something in and close it, wait, you know, open something. But now, you know, what we forget is what is actually happening, which is, you know, we have an hourglass here. Um, so, you know, looking at an hourglass, right? Very balanced you know, very consistent flow. Uh, what we talk about in, uh, you know, this book here is mainly this control point where, you know, there's consistent flow um, and predictability. Um, and the other, you know, portion that we talked about is there's no outside influence that's affecting the rate of change. Um, so that's where, you know, you look at this and, and you think, you know, what can this describe? And how is this different than, you know, the approach of, you know, just opening a box, putting something in and taking something out. You know, there's only, the only thing that can manipulate this is, you know, any sort of internal influence. Um, and we kind of talk about that, you know, in the book itself and we'll continue to talk about in further volumes. I am a golf instructor, so I can, you know, hit a golf ball very far. <laughs> sometimes straight, sometimes not. Um, I also, which I, you know, I enjoy teaching golf and surprisingly enough I do use similar concepts and you know very basic form of this into you know golf game and teaching you know balance and, and movement and energy and uh, you know force um, to create speed right I mean there's there's very uh, similar things in all aspects of you know whatever science or the world that I apply or try to apply to certain things. Um, I also uh, own and operate a smartphone uh, app, <laughs> uh, which is kind of a, a fun thing. I mean, we see the, the boxes here. Um, it's a treasure hunting app, which is fun uh, that I built just when I got out of out of school. Um, but yeah, those are those are a few things that you might not know about me. Volume two would be a very analytical approach at, you know, an application of how you would use hourglass socioeconomics. Um, a third volume would be kind of a global interpretation. Um, the cool thing about, you know, the math behind this is, you know, we think about math as a very operational, very rigid kind of thing. And I'm no mathematical scholar either, um, but I know and can look at something to where I can take that data and know where it needs to go. The genre this book falls under is very academic, but also, you know, kind of an unspoken genre of realism, um, where we think in a very theoretical sense, how we apply these concepts, they can apply to the real world. Readers that I think would enjoy this would be definitely deep thinking people, but that can also see and interpret the mathematical side of the book itself. So where this may be theoretical, um, it can, uh, you can apply real time data to it. If you want me to, you know, continue writing more and get me away from my day job, you know, buy the book, <laughs> which is available on, you know, Amazon. I've seen it on Walmart, Writers Republic, straight from their website. But yeah, if you want to see volume two, you got to buy volume one.